I think that the thing that is genuinely your burning desire right now, you should spend a crazy amount of time on it. So for me, when it was fitness, you have like, you've got enough free time, right? When you don't do both free time, if you don't do anything productive in that time, naturally you just go and do the bad habits, don't you? So what you need to do, if you've got a, like some free time right now, but you feel like, oh, but I can't like work out any longer, right? Cause I already do my three to five workout routines, but you can literally just add like the block there and simply just sit there and think about it. And I promise you that this will make you into the next level. Because this is what the world-class athletes, entrepreneurs do. It's like, if I, like, for example, I'm in work block 6 to 12, right? If there's no task for me to do, I'll literally just sit here and think about work. How can anyone win? How could someone win against me when, like, even though I've got no work, I'll literally just sit here and just think of new things that might, like, be valuable. And maybe I'll get some ideas. Some days I won't. But most of the days I actually get an amazing time after time after time after time after time loads of ideas that I wouldn't have if I just thought to myself, yep, yeah, you know, there's nothing else for me to work on. Like, If it's the most important thing of your day, if it's the thing that really means a lot to you, if it's your purpose, your mission, spend more time on it. And we've got... What's up, brother? Hey, what's up? I'm good, um, So, my question is, if, is it worth sacrificing... Um, one of these three categories sort of uh for one moment of time just to get uh way forward in another so then you can possibly not stop it but you you just gain more leverage as you go further right and so i imagine if you sacrifice for example your health a little bit right now but you do more work you're gonna get the leverage to um like get back the health while still doing the same amount of work for total in future fantastic question let me tell you let me show you right now uh one second i'm gonna tell you a little secret about successful people that i know okay so i've come to know quite a lot of millionaires now quite a lot of guys with millions of followers and everything i'm telling you right now What's being told to broke people is not what rich people do. So broke people, like you've been told by your teachers, they're telling you balance is key, moderation, all this shit. There's yeah. no millionaire out there who's actually balanced. This is exactly what they all do, even though a lot of them don't actually explain it. This is They've got their essential few. Usually family's not even in there. Sometimes health's not even in there, and it's literally just work. What they do, everyone thinks that the way to become successful is that you right now in every one of these areas you are making progress 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 that's not how it works how it actually works if you want to become super successful is you choose one thing let's say this one i want to get really good on youtube and make the good things okay this is now let's go here we are in the season of this. We are in the season of making Huberman style videos. Now what we do is for this, 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 all of these ones, we simply just do the absolute minimum effective dose to not backtrack. Family, have tea for four minutes with my mom every day. Love, see my girlfriend for exactly two hours per week. Sleep consistency, that doesn't need to backtrack. It's just, okay, just go to bed at 10, wake up at six. Stretch, I'll do literally two minutes of stretching per day. Exceptional diet, that's gonna help me with the work anyway. So, but it's, you know, just eat the eggs, eat the steak and stuff. Bodybuilding protocol, like workouts, I'm going to go to the gym for one day per week just to not backtrack, right? The idea is we, we're just trying to barely maintain. To maintain is generally about three to five times easier than to grow. Just, that's just my assumption of like if everything was like the weightlifting so what this means is to grow in weightlifting a lot of scientists say you need to do the equivalent of like five to ten sets maybe even more to maintain you really only have to do like one good set per week so you can literally go to the gym once per week for about one hour and you'll maintain your gains the idea is you can make progress like like huge life-changing progress in one thing and then you just try to stop the other things from backtracking. I have complete proof of this. This is exactly what I did with Adonis Academy, like the, the one I had before this. Everything else, I just put it at maintenance volume. I worked out for literally 10 minutes a day 
and it was at my home. I didn't. I stopped going to the gym. I didn't even. I've literally not even had a haircut since then or anything. <laughs> speak to my mom. Speak to my family when I'm literally in the kitchen making tea. Not even to spend with them, but to like bring it up or making coffee to bring up. But that was like enough to kind of maintain like a bit of a relationship with them. Like I'd come in, hug my mom, say hi to some, something to my dad. He's telling me about something. I'm making a coffee or whatever reason. I'm in the kitchen and I bring it back up. That was just about enough there. See my brother every now and then. See my girl once a week for literally just a few hours max nothing's backtracking to a huge level nothing's gonna like flaring up badly and i just went all in on adonis academy and i literally i think well at first yeah five times my business success in one month doing that and now it's been 10 times with adonis school